What's up everybody, welcome to Top 10 Character Moments. Today we're breaking down my list for the top 10 best moments of Nick Fury. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you already have, tell your friends, family, neighbors, let them know that this channel is the place to be. And then tell them to go over to my other YouTube channel called Sector for Nerds, link in the description below, and subscribe there as well. All right you guys, let's get into a few honorable mentions before cracking the top 10, shall we? First up, his first appearance in the MCU, an end credits scene that for the longest time I had no idea existed, lol. It's the moment you realize, oh, this is the start of something big. The start of a Marvel Cinematic Universe, if you will. Next up, his reaction to getting snapped. Need I say more? I won't, but Fury will. Oh no. Well done. And finally, his appearance in Season 1 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I enjoyed that show. Well, for the most part. There were a few boring seasons. But anyway, back to Fury. Seeing him show up in that finale to save Fitzsimmons and help his old buddy Coulson fight the bad guys? Good stuff. All right, you guys, let's get into the top 10 list itself. You guys ready? Here we go. At number 10, taking his wife with him to space. I like this scene from Secret Invasion because earlier on in this show, his wife talks about how he's always leaving her. So here he's like, just come with me. Fury trying to have his cake and eat it too, you know what I'm saying? At number nine, bringing back the helicarrier. After it seems like there's no way out for the Avengers and the people of Sokovia, Nick Fury says, hold my beer, bringing in the big guns to help get everyone to safety. It was also bittersweet in the sense that S.H.I.E.L.D. was technically gone, but what Fury was doing is what S.H.I.E.L.D. is supposed to be. This is S.H.I.E.L.D.? This is what S.H.I.E.L.D.'s supposed to be. This is not so bad. I also love the part where Cap calls him an SOB and Fury's like, you kiss your mom with that mouth? Oh, you kiss your mother with that mouth? At number eight, chatting with Loki on the helicarrier. After Loki's glorious purpose, Ant has no quarrel with a boot speech earlier on, Fury reminds him who's the Ant and who's the boot. But in all seriousness, I love this bit of dialogue because Loki starts throwing verbal jabs at Fury saying, how desperate are you? And Fury fires back by saying, You've threatened my world with war. You steal my forces, and you kill because it's fun. You've made me very desperate, and you might not be happy that you did. And then Loki really gets on him by saying, It burns you to have come so close to having power. A warm light for all mankind to share. And then to be reminded of what real power is. Fury closes out the combo with this gem of a line. Well, let me know if real power wants a magazine or something. At number seven, defending the helicarrier. This scene shows Fury is more than just a talker. He's a good fighter too. Him taking on possessed shield agents felt like a breeze for him. At number six, helping Captain Marvel. I know there's a lot of people out there that hate the Captain Marvel movie and I understand it. I didn't think it was that bad. I enjoyed seeing a young Nick Fury helping out Miss Danvers. He risked his career to do it and in the end, everything paid off. Well, except for the fact that he lost an eye. At number five, chatting with Tony Stark in Avengers Age of Ultron. This is one of my favorite scenes in that movie. After the Avengers took an L to Ultron, Fury's like, all right, I gotta go get these guys back in the fight, starting with Iron Man. This very much felt like a father-son conversation. And I remember at the time watching this, thinking that Fury was kind of a father figure to Tony in that way. Tony is venting about how he's the man who killed the Avengers. While Fury knows that it's just Wanda playing with his fears, Tony believed he wasn't shown a nightmare, he was shown his legacy. The end of the path he started the MCU on, lol. Fury tells him, you come up with a lot of impressive inventions, Tony. War isn't one of them. Tony thought that the worst part would have been seeing his friends die, and Fury's like, no, the worst part is that you didn't. He's right. At number four, faking his own death. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, and Fury did just that. S.H.I.E.L.D. was compromised. He had nowhere to run. So all he could do was give a flash drive to Captain America, tell him not to trust anyone, and then die. As Fury said, they can't kill you if you're already dead. So true. At number three, the car chase scene. In Captain America the Winter Soldier, Fury gets ambushed by then S.H.I.E.L.D. now Hydra agents. Just when you think they got him, Fury's car dispatches a machine gun that he uses to take out the enemy. It was so sick. And then he drives away and insert car chase scene. At number two, killing Alexander Pierce, the man who's supposed to be his friend, the man who turned down the Nobel Peace Prize. Turns out he was the new leader of Hydra, a traitor. 
Pierce had some leverage in the form of Natasha Romanoff, aka the Black Widow, but once she took herself out of the picture, bam, Fury nailed him. And finally, at number one for my favorite Nick Fury moment, bringing the Avengers together. There was an idea, called the Avengers Initiative. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people, see if they could become something more, see if they could work together when we needed them to, to fight the battles that we never could. Ward said to Cap and Iron Man after losing to Loki, yeah, Fury was gonna build an arsenal with the Tesseract, but the Avengers was his true ace in the hole that he was banking on. Turns out it actually worked. Now, there were definitely moments where they failed, but in the grand scheme of things, when all the cards were down and the world was at its most vulnerable, these guys came together to do everything that Nick Fury believed they could. Ultimately, if not for Nick Fury, there are no Avengers. Well, in the MCU anyway. So there you have it guys, that's my list for the top 10 best Nick Fury moments. If you like this video, then you'll probably like the rest of my MCU top 10 videos, so make sure you guys check out my playlist for more content. Also, be sure to stay tuned every single Friday for my latest top 10 video. Next week, I'll be breaking down my picks for the top 10 best moments of my favorite Star Wars character, Ahsoka Tano. Thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Mother. Oh, you kiss your mother with that mouth?